So hello guys and today I want to go through wonderful project Aster Network. In my opinion it is a very interesting coin in terms of deflationary model on the distance, uh, its potential, ecosystem, interest yields and reliability. I think this project, if everything goes well with it, can bring us absolutely insane profits on the bull market. It's still quite unknown with a relatively small market cap. And as you all know that any cryptocurrency growth is limited by the potential of capitalization increase. So Astor Network might be a mid-cap gem in my opinion, and let's figure it out why I think so. So as usually hit a like, subscribe to the channel guys, subscribe to my Telegram channel if you want to stay updated, and as usually, let's get started. So Aster is a blockchain platform designed specifically for interoperability between Polkadot and other blockchains. As the first tier 1 parachain on Polkadot, Aster serves as a hub for smart contracts since Polkadot itself doesn't support them natively. In brief, Aster enables smart contracts to connect and communicate between Polkadot and other blockchains, both layer 1s and layer 2s. It serves as a multi-chain hub. Aster is one of the first parachains on Polkadot show when it is critical for Polkadot's ecosystem. This is evidenced by the 7 grants Aster has received from the Web3 foundation that oversees Polkadot. A little background on the Aster project. It was founded in early 2019 by well-known Japanese developer Sota Watanabe. Originally Aster was called Plasm Network. The name change didn't alter the technology itself though, just so you know. An interesting fact is that Aster is the most popular smart contract platform in Japan and Sota Watanabe himself is the number one blockchain developer in Japan overall. So we can conclude that this project is in a very capable hands and the lead developer is acclaimed for good reason. Even Forbes writes about him. Aster ecosystem seems to be in a good shape overall. However, it's important to understand that the growth the ecosystem has experienced includes not just projects built on Aster but also various collaborations. And looking specifically at Astar projects, they are mostly decentralized finance endeavors. There is no particularly large or notable projects have emerged yet, but Astar relies precisely on its internal ecosystem. Compared to Moonbeam, there you can see more top projects interacting with Ethereum, but Astar's ecosystem is still growing. In 2022 there were around 100 projects in the Astar ecosystem. Now the total number is around 326. It tripled over that time. So this certainly bodes well for the project's future, showing it is young but clearly developing. And if we look at total value locked, Aster has declined significantly during the bear market. At its peak TVL reached around $360 million, but now the total is only $35 million. However, for such a young project this is reasonably acceptable. And if we examine the price, we can see that it has fallen significantly compared to its all-time high, pretty much same as any other coin. The current drawdown from its peak is around 85%. While substantial, this drawdown is not as severe as what some other tokens have experienced. And regarding market capitalization, the project is currently valued at $370 million. According to CryptoRank, it is in 135th place by market cap. And looking at the chart, the project seems to be looking decent with only a 90% decline from its peak. And in terms of token circulation, estimated amount is $8.28 billion according to the official data. Either way, this is an inflationary token with an annual inflation rate that used to be around 10% but has since decreased. In summary, while the price and market cap have dropped substantially from their highs, the declines are not as drastic as those experienced by some other major projects. The trading volume is low at present and the total token circulation is in billions, reflecting an inflationary distribution model. If we consider against the rewards for staking at this time, staking is currently yielding around 10%. I've recently done a video about top staking projects, uh, so you can take a look, feel free, and Aster was included there. Uh, there is also inflation to consider. And at the end of May, in an official report, Sota Watanabe stated concerns about the high inflation rate and noted that they will keep working to reduce it. That's actually encouraging to hear. So let's see how the token trades. Currently the token is listed on major exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Gate.io, Huobi, Okix, Qcoin, uh, basically all the top tier exchanges. So there is absolutely no issue with buying it, liquidity is there. Now I would like to examine the wallet's metrics. And if we check the box to exclude system accounts, then currently there are 92 whales. And these 92 whales own almost 72% of all tokens. If we include the big holders called dolphins, they own another 11% of all tokens. So 11% of the coins held by dolphins plus 73% held by whales. In other words, 84% of the coins are held in only less than in 500 addresses. However, I cannot definitely say whether this is good or bad. It's good that there are those interested in pumping the price but it can also negatively influence dumping of the token. So this indicator is more for becoming familiar with the distribution. 
By the way, guys, a short advertisement. Uh, please do not skip. Maybe you'll find it useful. I'm personally using Tangem Wallet for holding uh, any crypto in general. It is a self-custodial hardware wallet that gives you absolute control of your private keys. It has been audited by Kudelsky Security, an independent Swiss audit company. The chip has the highest certification level EAL6+, which guarantees the high level of security of your assets. You can find the report on the official Tangem's uh, website, everything is transparent. And unlike other wallets, Tangem comes with three cards, and what I personally like is that it is shaped like a card, uh, looks like a traditional bank credit card, and it can fit anywhere, can be taken anywhere, and these cards are used for generating and storing your private keys instead of a recovery seat phrase. The wallet supports over 6,000 different crypto assets across uh, 37 networks. You can also access decentralized applications and through the Secure Wallet Connect protocol, the mobile app also allows you to trade on exchanges, buy NFTs and stake your assets. It is absolutely easy to set up and easy to use. And for the pack of three Tangem cards, one wallet. I really do recommend you to have three because it has a higher level of security. It will cost you around $70. Uh, this makes it one of the most affordable hardware wallets when compared to options like Trezor models, for example, Ledger or others. And if you use promo code all for men you will get additional 10% discount. So please go ahead and explore the website for yourselves. Uh, if you're looking for a good quality wallet to store your crypto, I do suggest Tangem. Uh, the link you can find in the description. Thank you for watching and let's continue. There are several major investment funds involved in this project, including Binance Labs, uh, Coinbase Ventures, uh, AU21 Capital, Crypto.com, Fanbush Capital, Alchemist Ventures, and IOSG Ventures, Top Tier 1 Fund Polychain Capital. We also have OKEX Ventures and some other less well-known funds to me. In overall, I don't see any issues with the investors here. That aspect is very strong. So in essence, Aster 2.0 is an updated version of the future for Aster from the developers. It can be described as a new roadmap with enhancements that includes things like Aster Link. To put it simply, these are the new tools and infrastructure for developers. And broadly speaking, it incorporates language technology for leaks and similar things. There is also an update to staking 2.0. Additionally, there is the new tokenomics here, which is to benefit everyone from what I gather. Here we have updates to voting and the foundation as well. There are many other things like Startail, which is a tech company focused on the Japanese market with some partnerships with Sony Corporation. And in overall, if I can summarize, the project clearly has ambitious plans across the board, which they have combined under Aster 2.0 umbrella. By the way, I think uh, there was an AMA session in July 19, 2023 with Sota Watanabe, where he probably discussed all of that. So to conclude, I'm very enthusiastic about this project and believe it has strong fundamentals currently. I have already started accumulating position and if we see another correction I will be looking forward to buy more. At the present price point, which is still attractive in my view, we are in accumulation zone. It is not a mistake to buy here, though there could be further dips. I will establish three buying zones. The first will be around 4 to 3.5 cents, where I plan to invest more and if it drops there. So my second buy zone will likely be around 3 cents, where I will acquire another 40% of my total target allocation. Overall, I plan to allocate around 3 to 4% of my portfolio to this project. The third and final buy zone would be around 2.5 cents. If it falls that low, which I actually find unlikely, I will buy another 40% of my intended total position. Getting it at the fundraise price would be ideal, allowing me to maximize my holdings. So I'm quite bullish on this project and establishing a tiered buying strategy ranging from the current price down to the initial fundraise level to accumulate a position. So let me highlight the positives and negatives. On the plus side is the technology which is crucial for the entire system. Polkadot also adds up positivity. Sota Watanabe is a developer with a name that inspires confidence. The unlocks are positive as most have already passed, but also the price of acquiring the funds, although more hypothetical, is still good. As for the downsides, there are no major disadvantages I can point to. However, I'll mention just a few things. Perhaps the most significant is the technological risk. Such projects always have the potential for hacking and related consequences that we often see. You can be immune to that. Another relative disadvantage is the high inflation, but as discussed, they are combating it and doing a decent job. The last relative negative is that this project is not very prominent in the news, meaning few average users know about it. But low hype can be good for a project. Maybe it's not bad that so far only if you know. In the future there will definitely be hype. So those are my thoughts on this project. And that's where we'll wrap things up. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful by providing new insights, please show your appreciation by liking and commenting. Your feedback makes me feel good and motivates me to create more videos. 
And if this is your first time visiting my channel and you found the content interesting, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more great stuff. Also check out my Telegram channel where I share my opinions on the latest news. The link is in the description, so feel free to join. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon and thank you for watching.